One of the main selling point of FreeBSD is that it has Linux compatibility layer and on top of it, it has variety of applications in the port tree. So in this video, we are going to cover those topics. So let's start with enabling Linux binary compatibility layer. For that one, first of all, we have to actually edit the rcconf and add the Linux enable to it. So sudo vim slash etc rcconf and then we have to actually add the Linux here, Linux underscore enable equals to yes or no. So here is no, we have to set this one to yes. And afterwards we have the Linux compatibility layer. Then we can start installing some of the Linux applications that are in the port tree. For example, I really like a Sublime Text, even though that it's a proprietary application, but I would like to use it because it's simple and it is fast. So we are going to install that one, sudo pkg install Linux Sublime Text version 4 and it installs it. It's already installed actually. So we can actually go here under developments, we have Sublime Text and it's up and running. Now, in case that we want to play any DRM content, we can do so by installing a Linux specific or a Linux browser. That is done through Linux browser installer a script, makes everything easier. So we simply have to open up the browser, go to the Google, let's say search for Linux, browser installer and then we can go to this github page download the zip file and extract it i already did it here and then afterwards we have to go and run the script so so i have to go to the desktop cd desktop linux browser installer and then afterwards we can actually do linux browser installer script and then it says that we have to run it as sudo so sudo then it asks what we want to do so this script supports multiple browsers it supports brave chrome edge vivaldi and opera so we are going to install the the least evil one which is in my opinion brave so linux browser installer install brave and then afterwards it installs it mine it's already installed i tried it to ensure it's working installation time will take a while for the first time but afterwards it will be fantastic if you want to try and install additional browsers so for example if i open the brave browser here this is using linux compatibility layer and we can actually go to the spotify and play a song so let's try this one as you can see it's actually playing here yeah. and the speed is actually very good and it's not slow or laggy so you can watch netflix content on it as well so there's no worry there the next application that we are going to install is vs code you may think that vs code is available through the compatibility layer but that's not the case vs code has been ported to the freebsd so we can simply do pkg install vs code and this one is going to install the VS Code. Of course, it's already installed again. And we can actually open the VS Code. So we have the VS Code running on FreeBSD and it's performant as well. Now, if you want to run some Windows applications on FreeBSD, you can do so since there is a Wine port on FreeBSD as well. So PKG install Wine Gecko, Wine Mono, and then Wine then you get the full wine experience so you have actually wine and wine 64 there and then you are good to go the last piece is to install virtualbox this is also available on freebsd so we can just do pkg install virtualbox ose and then we have to do a bunch of configuration i would say this is the most cumbersome part first we have to actually load a kernel module so sudo kld load vbox driver and it's already loaded so that's why it, it gives me error then we have to make that one permanent so for that one we have to edit the loader con file under boot directory so 
and then we need to add this line to it vbox drv underscore loader equal to yes and then we have to actually edit another thing in the rc conf file so sudo v etc rc.conf and then we have to actually enable the networking so vbox net underscore enable equals to yes so this is this one and then we have to actually add the user to the vbox group because we want the normal user to run the virtual box so for that one we have to do sudo pw group mod vbox users dash m then pass the user here then also we have to modify the some permission under dev but for that one first you have to actually restart your machine so the changes will take effect afterwards we have to modify the permissions so ch on root vbox users dev vbox net ctl and then we have to modify the ch mod 0660 a slash dev vbox net ctl to make these changes permanent we have to modify the devfs file so sudo vim slash etc devfs and then we have to add these two lines here on vbox net ctl root colon vbox users perm vbox net ctl 0660 that should be all the changes about the virtual box then we can go to the system try to open the virtual box and as you can see the virtual box is here that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed it i would like to take a moment to thank patreon contributors grog with 30 gen restaller stellar orbit with 20 gen restaller openbsc maximalist alexander m monty russell willis openbsc enthusiast dm john collins liquid mobius and openbsc curious sector